Thanks for tuning in to WSKI-TV 17. Time for your afternoon update. You can find this and much more at WSKITV.com, including our live streaming. And this brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Find them right in the village. We'll see increasing clouds for the day on Monday. So if you want sunshine, get out there early for your best chance of that. 22 to 24 at the uh, base. Summer temperatures 17 to 19 and a north-northwest breeze will be noticeable, especially higher on the hill. Cloudy skies for the day on Tuesday. Base temperatures 27 to 29. Summer temperatures 22 to 24, so good temperatures. The snow's not going anywhere, and you'll see that north breeze once again noticeable higher on the hill, not bad around the base. Wednesday, we're looking at partly sunny skies, a high of 34, warms up to the upper 30s on Thursday with mostly cloudy skies, and clouds will continue for Friday as temperatures cool back down with a high of 29 degrees and a low of 22 up towards uh, the summit. The skiing and riding has been awesome, folks. Hope you can get out there and enjoy the conditions. Operations doing a awesome job. 100 trails to ski and ride on, 8 lifts getting you there, 50 trails on the groomer's list, pack powder, hard pack conditions. This trail report brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. Find them right in Village West. As far as lifts, Snubber and Skidway will get going on Monday morning at 8.30 to move you around and below the base area. If you want to get a little higher on the hill, Double Runner East gets going at 8.30 alongside Skyline and Super Quad. And King Pine and Wiffle Tree get going on the east side at 9 a.m. Winds and weather permitting. And Timberline at 9 a.m. as well should be going. Chipper and Lower Bucksaw, that's where the snowmaking efforts are being focused. Most everything else is being wrapped up as far as up off the front face and whatnot, so that should open up soon. Uh, look for that to just dry out for the next couple days. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, Upper Double Bitter, King's Landing, Hayburner, Haywire, Comp Hill, Narrow Gauge, Sluice, and Gondi Line, all on the groomers list for first thing on Monday morning. A regular Sunday groom out there. Ram Down, Hallback, Widowmaker, and Flume up high on the east side. Wiffle Tree, Two Hall, Slasher, and Rollway down low. And over on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, as well as Horseshoe all groomed out for your Monday morning skiing and riding. So that is some good news. Also, all around the base area groomed out as well. Lower Winter's Way, uh, Candy Side, Boardwalk, The Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook will all be in great shape first thing Monday morning. And Drop Line, Sidewinder, all the terrain parks are open and in good shape. The Lodge and Nordic Shop is open down at the Sugar Love Outdoor Center. Bull Moose Bakery is open as well. The Cafe, 9.30 to 3.30. The trails are in great shape. Get out there and enjoy them. Uh, the snowshoe trails are open. The ice rink is open thanks to the temperatures. So something for everyone down there at the Outdoor Center. A great alternative to alpine skiing. Also, the Carabasset Valley Fat Bike Trails are all in great shape as well. Just beware of your tread. And don't forget the Fat Tire Race is happening next Sunday. As far as the snowmobile conditions going... Uh, it is still early season conditions with the snow that we've gotten, but the trails are in great shape, so get out there and enjoy it. And do want to make note that Grand Falls is now open on the weekends or on the weekdays as well. So that's a great destination if you're up and about on your snowmobiles. And the quad cam, so you can see exactly what's happening in real time at the base of the mountain, so you can know before you go. Be sure to check us out anywhere, anytime, 24-7, WSKITV.com. We're streaming. We're streaming on the Spectrum app, and we're streaming on our Roku channel. And as always, don't forget about the live mountain report, 7.30 to 9 a.m. Saturday and Sunday mornings for all the info to know before you go.